You do pronounce it bean. It's bean, yeah. yeah as in I can't pork have and beans. beans. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Well, Michael, now that we've settled how to pronounce your name, <laughs> Michael Bean, uh, spelled B-I-E-H-N, which uh, makes it, uh, what is the derivative? It's German. German. Yeah. Well, I can identify with that. Weigand is a <laughs> pretty German name, so we'll share some Should sauerkraut. <laughs> yeah, share a plate, a plate of kraut or something. Uh, anyway, people um, will remember you from The Terminator, which was, I guess, the most recent thing you've you did before this, right? It's, well, I did the Terminator. Actually, after I did the Terminator, I played uh, a character that ran three episodes on Hill Street Blues, yes. which was a real uh, sweetheart of a guy. And then I played another character on a four-hour movie for uh, television called Deadly Intentions, where I played a, another uh, sweetheart. Uh, this is a, a guy who was a schizophrenic, a true story of a doctor who was uh, emotionally abusing his wife and children. And then I did Aliens. That, you know, as I look at you, Michael, it, it's strange to me that casting directors would, would put you in those kinds of roles. Uh, did you especially want to do them, or what was it about you and your readings? I don't know. I, uh, I, I also did a movie uh, called Lords of Discipline, where, which was a movie about the first black cadet in the South where I played a nasty character. And I, I did a movie called The Fan, where uh, I was with Lauren McCall and played a psychotic uh, character too. I, uh, I, I, I did a lot of kind of leading boy characters when I was when I was younger, and I think that you sort of hit an, an, an age range somewhere between, uh, you know, 23 and, and about 27, where you're not leading boy anymore and you're not quite leading man, so you're just sort of picking up the pieces, and I think that's where some of that stuff came from. Did you get this role as a result of working, working with Jim? Working in the Terminator, yeah. We got along real well in the Terminator, and uh, uh, they just called me, Gail Ann Hurd, his wife, and, and producer of the Terminator, and Aliens called me and asked me if I wanted to do it, and I'd read the script uh, months before, and I said, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, I think you people have a monumental hit oh, on your hands. Yeah, it's a fabulous movie, absolutely fabulous. I was in the theater saw it for the first time a couple of nights ago and the audience reaction to it was just just fabulous screaming and 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 jumping and and there's a lot of humor in it too everybody seemed to be laughing and having a good time and cheering and uh, it was really nice to see Michael do you think at any time that the movie is too scary no I mean I don't know. See, the movie doesn't scare me at all because I know what's going on and, and uh, it would be a kind of a pat answer to say, oh yeah, well it even scares me and I know what's going on. I mean, it doesn't scare me. Um, you know, it's hard for me to answer. I've never really seen a movie that, that, that is too scary. I mean, when it gets too scary, we go like this, right? <laughs> I mean, that's what I do. What is the scariest movie you ever saw, even as a kid? Well. I actually would have to say, it's funny because some people will laugh to death at this movie and other people it scares the heck out of them. And for me it was The Exorcist. It was just, to me it was like, it was, it was pretty scary. Were you a teenager at that time or I don't younger? Mean, I must have been, um, I was a teenager, yeah I think it was in high school. I remember seeing it when I was in high school so uh, it was probably 15 or 16, something like that, yeah. But see some people can look at a movie like that and kind of laugh at it because they don't accept it as being real, but uh, I did, and it scared me pretty badly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, a as far as you're concerned, I, I have to assume that you had seen the first Alien. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so as far as you're concerned, if you had to explain to someone the major difference between Alien and Aliens, what would you say? Well, Alien was a, uh, a suspenseful movie, and I, I would describe it as being a movie that, if you're, like you're walking down a dark alley, sort of, and it's very slowly walking, and you're looking, and you know something's out there, and you're being very quiet, and you're just, you know, and you're waiting for it to jump out at you. It's just like you walk down a dark street, and it just kind of scares you. You think something might be out there. With aliens, it is called aliens because there are aliens, and there are a lot of them, and we run into them, and it's like a roller coaster ride in a fun house. And so it's a different kind of fear. Things are jumping out at you and scaring you all over the place. And so one is a fear that is based on suspense, and another one that is fear that is based on, um, you know, action and, and things jumping out at you. 
What is it like for an actor to be in this kind of film where so much in the way of special effects and firing guns and explosions and fire and hardware, what is it like for you? Well, it, 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 can, be, uh, it can be difficult. It can be kind of scary at times because we deal with a lot of fire and explosions and, and guns. It, it's fun at the same time. Uh, the thing that I like so much about this movie and I think also about uh, The Terminator is that when Jim writes a movie, even though it has all this hardware in it, there's such a human element to his stories. And with The Terminator, there was a, uh, a real nice love story that was there and in this story there is an ensemble group of, of, of people who interreact and uh, uh, characters are they're full and it's not that often that you get an action movie that is so entertaining at the same time you get uh, roles uh, that an actor can play and stretch as an actor so it's a, it's a great combination. Looking at this film I would judge it to be at least a 20 million dollar film. What is it? No, I think that you've got your, your, your facts and figures wrong. $20 million is, is, is not a very big movie. $20 million is, I mean, it's going to be a much bigger hit than $20 million. Uh, uh, Terminator, for instance, made, well... No, no, I'm talking about cost to make. Oh, oh, I'm cost sorry. To make. I'm sorry, I thought you didn't have no, much no, money no, no, it was going to oh, make. No, 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 right. no. Uh, but uh, looking at it, it looks like it cost at least $20 million. It cost, it I think, a little bit less than $17 million. And that's because the reason why it looks like it's a better film than it is because James Cameron and Gale have come from Roger Corman's school of filmmaking and they know how to do things. It's so fascinating to watch Jim do things. He'll do things uh, where, where if he doesn't have enough of something, uh, like the hypersleep capsules, when you see the movie, you'll see all these hypersleep capsules lined up. And he's only budgeted like for four or five of them. And he needed like 10 or 12. So he takes a mirror and he puts it on one side and gets a double reflection. And all of a sudden, he's got like 12 of them. And they think that way. They think cost effective. And this is an incredible movie for, for that amount of money. I mean, it's all up there on the screen, every dollar of it. It sure is. It certainly is. wasn't in my contract. <laughs> 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 Michael, you're fun to talk with. I enjoyed it very, very much. Thank you. And again, congratulations. I loved your performance. I think the film is just a whopper, really. I agree. Okay, thanks. Nice talking with you. Thank you. My pleasure. <laughs> Stop taking. Michael, do you think this movie is too scary? What is the scariest movie you've ever seen? Were you a teenager then or younger? What do you think then is the major difference? No, excuse me. I didn't ask that. Okay. If you had to explain to someone the difference between aliens and this movie Aliens, what would you say? How come a guy who looks like you do has played these other, you know, menacing parts? I, I mean, I don't understand why they would cast you that way. Did you get this role because of your association with Jim Cameron in The Terminator? You might want to ask a question about aliens again because you said, um, what's the difference between aliens and aliens? Oh, excuse me. I, okay. All right. Thank you. Michael, if you had to explain the difference to someone between the first movie, Alien, and this movie, Aliens, what would you say? Looking at this movie, I would say it cost at least $20 million to make. What did this movie cost to make? Okay, now I'll just give you reactions. Ha, ha, ha.